Well, well, we're here. This one's Beastie Boys Intergalactic. Intergalactic Planetary. Now, I know that because if you check my other Beastie Boy reactions, I told you. I told you. I've been, I had this song out of. Like I had two, like there was a cassette I had, and for some bizarre reason, this was the only song that was on it. The rest of it was all kind of like your, I want to say your dark hip hop, but like your meaningful songs. And yeah, yeah, with all due respect, this is meaningful, but it was a bit more. The cassette I had was so bizarre. It had Tupac, it had rap on it, whatever. I had John Lennon, Imagine, and I had Beastie Boys Intergalactic on the on, on the cassette. So one side was all pure hip hop, and the other side of it was 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 a bit more of a. Yes, it was a slight, slightly peculiar sort of musical taste I had well, when I was at when I was studying at college and uh, going through, I guess, uh, phases as every teenager does. But anyway, <laughs> I say that, but the phases of life, the phases of uh, teenage years, the, the adolescence years, you know. Oh my days. I'm sure we all have something to say. So it's going to be my first ever time watching the entire video from start to end. And literally like my first ever time hearing the song start to end after like what? We're talking over a decade at least. Like I might have heard it on the radio since then. But we're talking at least plus 10, 15 years, maybe more. So in a way, I am, you know, stoked for it. But I'm thinking, okay. I'm taking it. I'm, I'm gonna view this from a different angle now because you're watching me. All right. So, well, all but how many views I do get. Anyway, <laughs> let's jump in without further ado. This was a. This this part was on my cassette. And just before I do begin, I remember the, the the only reason I was able to get it on the cassette is because back in the day, uh, back in the day, but if you don't, kids, if you don't know, we had the radio on, you put your cassette in and you'd have to press play and record at the same time to get the song off the radio to put on your cassette. That's how it was done. So I only had a, a segment of the song, a few, a few of the a few of the rap verses and the chorus, and, and that was it. So this whole stuff at the beginning, the spaceship, the whole thing on the radio was not there for me. So yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Get it intergalactic. There it is. <laughs> it's got that B boy vibe to it as well. Goes back into it. Here we go.
until you won't school hip hop. The dark is soothes and relaxes the socks. The rise is spread just like a box. If the music is loud, they can elect the shot. I am known to do so. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, man, that took me back. That took me back a little bit because I remember uh, the beat. Yo, oh, that beat change as well was crazy. I love the way the beat was just sort of changing. And it, and it has that B-boy vibe to it, you know, because you could just bop to it and you can just like, if, oh, my days, what do I say? That was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And the I was laughing at them because it's got captions in. So, yeah, it is. Sometimes, you know, to process it all, you know, picking up the lyrics, seeing the visual, yeah, it gets a bit whoop, you know, have it, you've listened to it a few times, sort of pick up a few of the lingos, but the video itself, you know, this is the era of uh, Power Rangers, you know, remember the the, the way the, the, the cinematics, it, just looking at the way the cinematics were done there, <laughs> it has that nostalgia of, you know, Power Rangers, if you don't know what Power Rangers are, go on YouTube and type in Power Rangers, or go on Google, whatever you need to do, on the internet, and type in Power Rangers, and you'll see it, the way that's done, it was like, the Power Rangers, and it's, considering uh, the way that is done, they obviously spent a lot of money, whether or not they actually went to Japan, that's another story, uh, but yeah, and uh, the, the interaction, and, and Doctor, you know, put Spock, Spock in there from, oh, what was it, Star Trek, Star Trek is related to space travel, the, the you know universe, and the song's called Intergalactic. So there were little nuances with the lyrics there that sort of paid homage to the actual song, the, the theme of the song, Intergalactic, Planetary, yeah, whatever, man. That's good. I liked it. That was definitely a trip almost down memory lane, but amazing. And it's just it just shows you. And I was saying that is rap. That is like just rap. There was there's nothing about that that screams out. You know that's healthy competition that's they let three young men going at it and then you know and that was what that is what rap's about you know bring it and we, we we could go into a verbal sort of conflict and articulate ourselves in a way without resorting to violence physically and whatnot we can articulate ourselves with words which i feel many young people today are not able to do as well do you know what i'm saying so that's why a lot of young people sort of resonate to sort of hip-hop and rap young men particularly go towards hip-hop because and rap because those artists good artists, and Beastie Boys, I believe, are those good artists as well, they have a way to articulate themselves and still have that, I guess, charisma to to sell records and, and do well. So, you know, kudos to them. That was it. That was my reaction. Yeah. Beastie Boys Intergalactic. Hat Free Speaks on the channel. Make sure you are staying safe. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.